Ever heard of a jet nicknamed the Thud? No, it's not a bad pun. It's the F-105 Thunder Chief, a legendary fighter bomber that packed a punch in the Vietnam War. Today, we're taking a deep dive into this supersonic beast. We'll talk about its breakneck speeds, its transformation from nuke carrier to bomb-slinging hero, and how it earned its unique nickname. We'll also uncover its surprising success against enemy MiGs and explore the development of the Wild Weasel variant, a game-changer in air defense suppression. So, fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to take flight with the mighty F-105 Thunder Chief. Being an American fighter bomber, it served in the USAF from 1958 to 1984. It is the only American aircraft to have been removed from combat due to high loss rates. F-105 crews nicknamed it the Thud. Not exactly the most inspiring name for a jet fighter. Some say it came from the sound of its powerful engine, while others claim it reflected the feeling of the pilot being jolted around during low-level bombing runs. The single-engine F-105 could deliver a bomb load greater than some American heavy bombers of World War II such as the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress and Consolidated B-2 for Liberator. The F-105 was one of the primary attack aircraft of the Vietnam War. Over 20,000 Thunder Chief sorties were flown, with 382 aircraft lost, including 62 operational losses out of the 833 produced. Although less agile than smaller MiG fighters, USA FF-105s were credited with 27.5 kills. The Thunder Chief was a real speedster. It could break the sound barrier at sea level and hit Mach 2 at high altitudes, making it one of the fastest jets of its time. Originally designed to deliver nuclear payloads, the F-105 ended up being a key fighter bomber in the Vietnam War, carrying a massive 14,000 pounds of bombs and missiles. Despite high loss rates, the F-105 managed to rack up some impressive air combat victories. It's the only American aircraft to score three MiG kills during the Vietnam War. The Wild Weasel was a specially modified version of the F-105 Thunder Chief designed for a critical task, suppression of enemy air defenses seed. Their mission was to take out enemy radar sites, especially those launching surface-to-air missile SAMs that threatened attacking aircraft. Wild Weasels carried AGM-45 Shrike missiles, nicknamed Shrike, which homed in on enemy radar signals. By clearing a path through enemy defenses, Wild Weasels played a vital role in protecting other bombers on strike missions. The F-100F Super Sabre was the first Wild Weasel aircraft, but the F-105F and later F-105G variants became the backbone of the program due to their increased capabilities. A Wild Weasel F-105 typically had a two-person crew, a pilot, and an electronic warfare officer EWO who operated special equipment to detect and target enemy radars. The Mach to speed came from a Pratt and Whitney J75P19W afterburning turbojet engine, producing 64 kilo newtons thrust and 117.88 kilo newtons with afterburning and water injection. With this, had an operational range of 778 miles and a ceiling of 14,800 meters. Besides being able to deliver nuke and conventional warheads, it also featured AM-6-1A-1 Vulcan Gatling cannon. The Thunder Chief was rapidly withdrawn from USAF service after the end of the Vietnam War. By the late 1970s, the leftover aging Thunder Chiefs were becoming difficult to maintain. The last F-105Gs with the 128th Tactical Fighter Squadron of the Georgia ANG were retired on the 25th of May 1983. The last flight of the F-105 Thunder Chief was by the AFRES 466 Tactical Fighter Squadron with F-105Ds on the 25th of February 1984. 